Hey Sagittarius, Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. I hope you're all doing well, guys. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Now, I've just completed the um, February Valentine's Day 2022 readings. And this is a past life reading back dated the 1900s that may be affecting your love life in this uh, this year. So I've decided to do this reading um, to help either a situation or a person that's affecting your love life. Now we've got the um, lovers tarot here in the background and uh, we've got the tower upright. We've got death in reverse. We've got the hermit upright and the sun in reverse. Well, I'll explain all that at the end of the reading. But I'm going to do the basis of the Lenormand cards. Um, so we've got the tree. We've got the rider and we've got the star. We have the diviner. We have the clover, the lily. We have the man card, the crossroads and the tower. So definitely um, this is a past life connection that uh, seems to be repeating itself in several of your lifetimes. Now, when I was shuffling the cards, Sage, I felt that you lived in the Netherlands. Uh, you Tree Hills is what I was getting, if that means anything to anyone out there. And I feel that you uh, lived on a property that had horses. Now, this is for the collective, and I do have Virgo Aquarius, your own sign in there, Sag and Libra. So take it in your situation. Now, I feel you had good, good health in this incarnation. A lot of hope towards all your goals and ideals. There was someone in your um, life that gave you assistance in achieving these dreams. And I feel like you or this person had psychic abilities, very in tune with messages from the universe. Now, these opportunities you were going to follow through your intuition. And uh, you jumped on whatever your gut was telling you. You had a lot of luck borne out by your experiences over many uh, lifetimes. And I feel you're on your way to happy retirement. You retired pretty early in this lifetime because of all your uh, trusting your intuition, basically. And you were a man in this lifetime who's very mature. And, you know, you were possibly between 30 and 40 years old. You had many choices ahead of you, but for some reason, you came to a point where you were undecided of these choices. Now, it may have to do with an a, a independent company or legal choices or government options that was happening around this time. Now, we'll take a look at what you look like. Okay, so we've already established you were between 30 and 40 years old. Green hazel eyes that really um, really stood out. You know, uh, you were a bit of a jokester and loved to take risks. And uh, you laugh, loved to laugh a lot. This was very infectious to other people. You had that wise look on your face, even though we, you were young, between 30 and 40. But you had this confidence and... Um, you were very mature for your age. Now, your partner was definitely um, between the same age group. Green hazel eyes, something that stood out about themselves. They were slender, but very fit, very elegant looking about them, very strong legs. And they moved very quickly. Now, I do feel like they rode horses, like you lived on a property where there was horses. You had something... Or well, this person had something very attractive about their face. Now, it could have been their eyes twinkled or um, they had a birthmark or a scar or well, they wore a beauty spot. But I feel, um, I feel like I'm talking about Elizabeth Taylor here. Um, I feel like um, this person has brought something of that quality into this lifetime. So perhaps... Look at that as well. Now, what happened on Valentine's Day in the 1900s? I felt like because you were so undecisive about where to go next, you had a special tree 
on your property where you would go to look at your options. Now, you're a very spiritual person. You, your uh, health was in excellent <clears throat> shape and maybe you were looking at someone new on the scene, a new lover perhaps. The following day, I feel like there was a chance encounter with this person. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, maybe um, luck was on its way to you again. It could have been in the way of a business acquisition where you were going to have some official status coming. But you had these choices of new possibilities, even though you were retired. Now, there was a breakthrough for you, Sag. A lucky chance and surprise fame that was coming up for you. And this was a new path to achieving new goals. Now, I feel like... Um, Possibly a year later, you became a late bloomer or you were becoming an older celebrity. And this is you becoming a star that was established on the A-list and reaching for the stars. And you were now an established or high-ranking person. Now, you passed in that lifetime. You had trouble with your spine, your whole spine and varicose veins. I feel like... You were aged around 69. I feel like you passed away in a paddock under a shady tree, your favourite tree. Not far from the herb garden. It was the north side of the house and it was near the uh, driveway of your, or the entry of your property. On the, not far from the path anyway and that's where you were found. Now about you in this lifetime, we have the tower in the upright position and... Um, there is a need for change in 2022 and you are becoming even more insistent of this change. The writing's definitely on the wall here. Deep in your unconscious and part of you already knows some kind of upheaval is um, necessary to make some changes. It may seem threatening or it may feel um, like you're insecure or uncertain. And this is stemming from being hesitant in the past life. Now, you may become angry and even erupt at people when you least expect it. You've got this deep inner need to clear the air and it's require, requiring you to take action now. Now, um, if you don't assert yourself here, Sagittarius, you may become aggressive and it's not going to give you clarity. You're going to be unable to think clearly. You somehow need to accept your own power and find an appropriate outlet for it so singles if you're single in this lifetime i feel like there's this french phase coupe de foudre which describes the arrival of a partner the same as what was happening in your past there was some a new encounter coming now maybe this is going to happen suddenly and unexpected for you but there's an attraction here it's got this kind of inescapable faded quality. Now, they may be a disruptive, uh, disruptive force in your life and this person's presence is going to make you question every situation. They may unsettle you or disturb you or excite you, but they'll never bore you. Now, it's definitely um, said that uncertainty is the soul of, the ro of romance and since you're not certain of this person, you may find... They are a very romantic figure whose company is very exhilarating and stimulating to you mentally and physically. Now this person will have a devastating effect upon you and will cause much heart searching on your part. And because of this attraction, Sagittarius, you're not, um, don't expect them to remain in your life forever. Okay. Now for couples, we have death. Uh, also in reverse so I feel like a relationship could have ended or you're going through some pain that's hard to bear now and this loss is unbearable at this time you may be wondering whether you will see the light again but the first three steps towards regeneration <coughs> is to accept your loss and honor your grief and rage you know maybe get yourself some professional counseling at this time because it 
was in your past incarnation here. So even if it doesn't um, ease your suffering, it's you taking that first step on your journey towards the light of inner wisdom so you can rediscover joy again and yourself. Now, if there hasn't been a breakup in your relationship, it may be still causing considerable heartache for you. You may be feeling unsuited to each other but can't imagine being apart from each other. And you're both suffering in silence, so it's not the right time of making a decision. You're recognising that this partnership needs help and working on a specific problem area is what's best. So if you can both face up to these difficulties, you're going to find a breakthrough that follows. And you just both need to find a resolution to balance the situation. Just make some um, serious readjustments here. Now you've got the future, um, what's coming up for you. We've got the hermit and the sun in reverse. And I feel like you've just got to be aware of arrogance or if you're thinking rigid. And you may be overabundant with pride or about your union. You, but you're just taking too much for granted at this time and you need to reassess your life quietly. Just be conscious of how you speak and act towards partner and everything should go well. Now, supportive people and knowledgeable people will come to try and aid you, but you must try and heed their advice and, you know, uh, above all, just listen to that inner voice of yours, Sag, because it's got you to where you needed to reach goals in the past. And if you're feeling isolated, it's going to soon pass. Just know that. So I'm going to um, attach this video to the Valentine's Day reading for 14th of February 2022, which was the Venus and Mars conjunct in, in Capricorn. And um, see how it all relates to you, okay? And I really appreciate you coming by. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It will help me get these messages out to who needs to hear them. Love and blessings. Bye for now.